In the heart of Santa Fe, New Mexico stands a chapel that houses an architectural marvel defying the laws of physics. This is the Loreto Chapel, a monument that has become a symbol of mystery and awe for generations. Constructed in the late 19th century, this chapel is renowned not for its Gothic Revival-style architecture or its exquisite stained-glass windows imported from France. No, its fame lies in something far more mystifying. Nestled within the chapel's walls is a staircase, a seemingly ordinary structure that ascends towards the choir loft, but don't let its simplicity fool you. This staircase, known as the Miraculous Staircase, has puzzled architects, engineers, and scholars for over a century. With no visible means of support and an unconventional design, it's a structure that should by all accounts collapse under its own weight. So, what lies at the heart of this seemingly ordinary staircase that has captivated the imaginations of so many? Join us as we unravel the layers of mystery and intrigue that shroud this humble yet extraordinary feat of craftsmanship. In the late 1800s the Loretto Chapel was built by the Sisters of Loretto. This was no ordinary construction project. The sisters inspired by the French Gothic architecture they had seen in Paris, had a vision of a unique chapel that would serve as a beacon of faith and beauty in the city of Santa Fe. With their hearts set on this vision, they commissioned the project to a French architect. The architect's design was indeed breathtaking, a chapel unlike any other in the area. As the construction progressed, the sisters' dream was slowly taking shape. The chapel began to rise, its stone walls standing strong against the New Mexico sky, its gothic spires reached towards the heavens, a testament to the sisters' unwavering faith. The stained glass windows were carefully positioned to catch the light, creating a mesmerizing array of colors within the chapel. Yet, as the construction neared completion, a problem arose. The architect had overlooked one crucial detail, the choir loft. The loft was 20 feet above the ground and there was no staircase to reach it. A traditional staircase would take up too much space leaving little room for the congregation. The sisters were left with a choir loft they couldn't access and a chapel that was incomplete. They consulted with local carpenters and architects but the solutions offered were far from ideal. Some suggested using a ladder but that was deemed unsafe. Others proposed building a traditional staircase but that would compromise the chapel's design. The sisters were at a loss. Their dream of a beautiful functional chapel seemed to be slipping away. The sisters found themselves in a dilemma, they needed a way to reach the choir loft without taking up much space, what were they to do? Just when all hope seemed lost, a mysterious stranger came into the picture. This stranger, an unassuming carpenter, arrived at the chapel doors, seemingly out of nowhere. He offered to build the staircase that the nuns so desperately needed, but his offer came with its own set of unique conditions. The carpenter requested complete solitude while he worked, he insisted that no one was to disturb him until he had finished his task. An unusual request, but the sisters agreed, eager to solve their dilemma. The work commenced, and the chapel was filled with the sounds of sawing and hammering. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months. The carpenter labored tirelessly, using only the most basic tools. A saw, a hammer and a T-square were his only companions. There were no signs of modern convenience or advanced technology, yet the staircase began to take form, rising majestically towards the choir loft. The carpenter was a man of few words, a silent sentinel dedicated to his craft. He toiled day in and day out, his hands shaping each piece of wood with meticulous precision. The sisters watched in awe as the staircase unfolded. As the staircase neared completion the carpenter's presence became more elusive. He would disappear for hours on end only to return to continue his work. The sisters respected his privacy but curiosity gnawed at them. Who was this man? Where did he come from? How was he able to construct such a masterpiece with such rudimentary tools? And then, just as abruptly as he had arrived, the stranger vanished without a trace, leaving behind his masterpiece. His identity remains a mystery, his story a legend. The only testament to his existence is the miraculous staircase, an enduring symbol of faith, hope, and the power of human ingenuity. The staircase, a spiral marvel, stands without any visible means of support. Pause for a moment and let that sink in. To this day, the staircase at the Loreto Chapel defies logic and the principles of physics. This is no ordinary staircase. Its design is a double helix, spiraling upwards in two complete 360-degree turns with no center support column. That's right, it's freestanding, a concept that leaves architects and engineers scratching their heads. It's as if the staircase is suspended in mid-air, an impossibility according to the laws of architecture and engineering. 
So, what keeps it standing? Well, that remains a mystery. Some attribute it to the precise craftsmanship, while others lean towards a more divine explanation. Now, let's talk about the wood. The staircase is made of an uncommon variety of wood, not native to the New Mexico region. It's a type of spruce, but not just any spruce. It's a variety that grows over a thousand miles away. How did this wood make its way to a remote chapel in Santa Fe in the late 1800s? The spiral design, the lack of a central support column, the wood not native to the region, and let's not forget, the absence of nails. The staircase was constructed without the use of a single nail. Wooden pegs were used instead. It's as if the staircase was crafted using techniques from a bygone era. Each step you take on this staircase, each creak of the wood under your foot whispers a story. A story of mystery, faith, and perhaps, a miracle. So, what do we have here? An architectural feat or a divine intervention? The debate rages on. Over the years, many theories have been proposed about the staircase and its builder. Each one, more captivating than the last, adds another layer to the shroud of mystery that surrounds this miraculous structure. One theory that has persisted, woven into the fabric of local lore, is that Saint Joseph himself, the patron saint of carpenters, constructed the staircase. As the story goes, the sisters of the chapel prayed for nine days straight to Saint Joseph for a solution to their problem. On the ninth day, a stranger appeared, built the staircase, and vanished without a trace. Could it be that their prayers were indeed answered by the saint himself? The allure of divine intervention certainly adds to the chapel's mystique. Then there's the theory of alien intervention. Yes, you heard it right. Extraterrestrial. Some believe that the staircase's ingenious design and the use of unknown wood type suggest the work of beings far more advanced than us. Could it be that our humble chapel was visited by otherworldly guests with a penchant for carpentry? And let's not forget the theory of an unknown genius carpenter, a master of his craft who wandered into Santa Fe and left behind a masterpiece. Some argue that the carpenter could have been an itinerant craftsman, a genius ahead of his time who used techniques and materials not yet understood or identified in the late 19th century. Each theory, as intriguing as it may be, lacks concrete evidence. There are no historical records of a carpenter fitting these descriptions, no traces of extraterrestrial life, and no definitive proof of divine intervention. It seems we are left with more questions than answers. So who really built the staircase? The mystery remains unsolved. Today the Loretto Chapel and its miraculous staircase continue to captivate and intrigue. Nestled in the heart of Santa Fe, New Mexico, the chapel stands as a testament to the unexplained and the extraordinary. Every year it draws in thousands from around the globe, all eager to witness the architectural marvel that defies logic and reason. Upon entering the chapel, visitors are often struck by a profound sense of wonder. The staircase, with its two full revolutions and lack of visible means of support, compels the mind to question, to ponder, and to marvel. It's a tangible reminder of a tale that straddles the line between legend and reality, between faith and skepticism. So why not embark on a journey to experience this enduring mystery firsthand? Perhaps the staircase will stir something within you, spark your curiosity, ignite your imagination. Ready to embark on this adventure? Give this video a thumbs up, hit the notification bell, and subscribe to our channel for more captivating explorations into history's most intriguing mysteries. Let's journey together and uncover the secrets that have puzzled us for centuries.